whole team. Uh, thank you to Chevrolet for having us here in Detroit, home, uh, home turf for Detroit, for uh, Chevrolet. And um, the new logo, um, the new um, say for, for Chevrolet is like find new roads, That's right? That's right, yep. And, uh, I mean, you've been finding new roads for a long time, but in the past few years, I mean, let's say since the bankruptcy and all those sure. problems, I mean, it's like an amazing yep. uh, way that Chevrolet has been gone through. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, um, you see four really important products on the stage here um, tonight. Uh, the Malibu, the new Camaro, um, the new Volt, uh, and, the, and the new Spark. I mean, so great, great range there. Tomorrow we'll unveil the fifth one, which is the new Cruise. Uh, and we really, I think, are building cars that, that embrace this idea of finding new roads. Great design, great performance, great technology. And that's what everybody says, right? Like in the automotive industry, yeah. if you have any problems, you'll solve them with good products. And that's what you guys have been doing for, for all this time. Absolutely. And I think that's, a, that's the marketing challenge, right? To, to let people discover uh, really the amazing vehicles that we're making because they truly are world class. Yeah. And Chevrolet has obviously a long, long history, and like, but for a few years, maybe some people were like, oh, maybe not. I don't yeah. want an American, an American car in general sure. for, for a long time, actually. Sure. But then, like, when you compare what you offer today, I mean, it's pretty amazing. I mean, you're offering things that, in just a, a few years ago, weren't even like possible to think about. Sure, sure. You know, I think, yeah, in some ways, it started with the Volt, right? I mean, a, a vehicle that technologically is in some ways a marvel, right, yeah. with, with an amazing pure electric range and then the, the, the gas on top of it. But um, we're, 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 we're really building great vehicles, and the challenge is to let people discover those and, 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 and find out really how amazing Chevrolet is. Is, uh, is that job easier in other, in, outside the United States? Because, for example, in Mexico, in Brazil, in Argentina, in the Middle East, yep. in Russia, I mean, the, the, the Chevrolet brand is like very, very yep. desirable, but it's that, like, that the case? It's, what, what it, you I, I, it, it's like having kids, right? Each one's a challenge, right? Yeah. Each one's got their own, their own set of challenges. Um, the good news is the product is strong, right? And so in some markets, we're a very young brand. I mean, China, for example, we, we've only been there this year 10 years. Uh, so that's yeah, a that's very nothing, short, really, nothing yeah. right? Uh, you know, what we said earlier tonight in, in Brazil, we've just celebrated our 90th anniversary. We've been in Mexico a long time and a lot of places in Latin America, certainly here in the States, the home market. So the challenges are really different as you move from market to market. Uh, and <laughs> Excuse me, and unfortunately, there's no real easy, easy, easy way. Yeah. So you oversee the whole marketing effort all around the world? That's not, that must be like, when do you sleep? I, I, I travel a lot, but I have, honestly, I think we have a really a world-class team. I have really good people uh, on the team that I like, that are super smart. Uh, and so that makes it an awful lot easier. Uh, but it's a lot of travel. I leave tomorrow night for England, so I'm on the road quite a bit. I was in South America already this year once, and I'll go back. Uh, later in the fall. You were sharing some of the stories uh, when you go around the world, like how people recognize yep. you from Chevrolet, and yeah. some, everybody yeah. has yeah. something to, to say about a Chevrolet in, their, in it, their history, right? It's funny. You know, you could work in a lot of industries, but when people find out you work in the car business, and specifically when you work for Chevrolet, the stories just start coming. They, they, they tell you about a car they've owned, their family, their friends, or whatever. And so it's, it, it is a great entry point for starting a conversation with people. Yeah, so um, great product. I mean, for example, the um, the, the, the new pickup truck. I mm. mean, the car is like amazing. It's You've amazing. been doing like great, but not only the product is good, but like yep. the process of marketing it is yep. like also a challenge. But yep. like that yep. must be such a fun fun job to do. It's right? fun and it's challenging. I think as as consumers rely more and more on their mobile devices, their their phones, their smartphones, and their and their iPads. The the places that we can communicate with customers is just exploding, right? And then you think about the U.S. specifically, um, different groups of customers coming in, Hispanic market being a big one, but uh, not only Hispanic, Asian American, the, the, the fragmentation. Yeah, it's very uh, it's, tough. It's, it's, tough, it's tough to juggle it all. But uh, I, I, what I'm seeing from all the, the messaging in the ads and all that, technology is driving yep. the new attraction to the cars, right? I mean, it that's is. like the, the, the thing that you're trying to convince people that, that that's a cool thing to have in the car. It is, and it, it changes people's perception about the brand. Um, we made a big push. Um, we're, we're the first and only car company to have the 4G LTE Wi-Fi in the vehicles across virtually every vehicle we make. And, and so that... 
wakes people up and we're not far away from our phones and our iPads and things like so having that connectivity in the vehicle is seen as, as really rather progressive, really rather modern. And then still the car is still the car. I mean, you have the Camaro, you have the Corvette. Yep. I mean, people still enjoy those those kind Absolutely. of the feelings and getting into the car. Into the car. Absolutely. I mean, we, you know, we, we sell cars from um, from a Spark, which is a small vehicle, all the way up to a, a heavy duty pickup truck. And and when we talk about performance and fun to drive, um, the reaction we try and get from the customer is when they get out, they have a smile on their face, and that tends to be the the, the instance with with virtually all the vehicles we're making. We're really trying to drive for a really satisfying driving experience. And you are doing that in how many markets around the world? How many? Uh, about 115 uh, around the world. Ten really key markets, uh, obviously. Uh, here in this hemisphere, for sure, uh, it's Canada, U.S., uh, Mexico, Brazil, and Argentina. But there's places in in South America that are really coming on strong, like Colombia. Colum I think Colombia. is becoming a very strong Absol market. Colombia is right? huge. Chile, e Ecuador, Chile. Chile is a very open market in terms of trade restrictions and everything. So super competitive, but absolutely, uh, really, really a lot of growth potential. So the brand Chevrolet, it's, it's ex still expanding, we, 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 can, we can say? I think it's fair to say we, we definitely expanding. The brand value is getting stronger. Um, you know, the, the interesting shift is if you went back uh, 10 years maybe, most of the vehicles, were, it was predominantly thought of as an American brand. Yeah. Right now, um, it, it's almost 60% um, are sold outside the U.S. Wow, that's so, amazing. So it's, it's a very global brand. Um, that a lot of people don't necessarily associate with Chevrolet. I mean, we are the, the fourth largest volume brand in the world of 40, 50 different brands. That's out pretty there. amazing. Yeah. And the marketing has been pretty aggressive, too. Yeah. I mean, now yeah. now you're like in Manchester United, yep. in, in the exactly. Premier League in England, and like yep. many other things around the world, right? That's right. You know, football is kind of the global sport. Um, what I call, uh, what, what most of the world calls yeah. football, what we would call soccer, but for sure it's 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 passion, a passionate sport. I mean, the World Cup helped a tremendous amount last year in terms yeah. of continuing to fuel that interest. But in in markets like um, Asia, where where Chevy as a brand is a baby brand, a young brand, uh, having the the Chevrolet on the on the shirt starts to build recognition, build awareness for Chevrolet. So, and then people get in the cars and they, 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 they get the smile that you What is this? They're associated with that brand. That's a good soccer. That's a good, you know, and so that's how it goes. Well, thank you very much. Yeah, we thanks. Can, we're going to enjoy the time here in Detroit at this time, and we, we look forward to we're seeing happy the We're happy you're cruise. here with us. Yeah. The Cruise, by the way, it's like the, the most global car for Chevrolet. It right? is. If, if you took the whole range of, of Chevrolet sold around the world, that's the number one volume Chevrolet in the world. Well, thank you. Bye-bye. Enjoy the time. All right, thank you.